Good day fellow haunters, this is Jared O'Lantern with another prop review video for you today. Today I will be reviewing the interactive jack-o'-lanterns from Grandin Road. Uh, this item um, was available uh, last year, it was brand new last year to the Grandin Road Halloween Haven line and then this is its uh, second year. And I wanted to get it last year, but it sold out pretty quickly. Grand and Road tends to sell out a lot of their items really quickly, so I wanted to make sure I pre-ordered it uh, for this year, and I just got it in the mail this week. And um, they are, you know, very similar to other uh, interactive props that have been available recently: the interactive talking busts, vampire busts, uh, the talking cameos, uh, and this one is, of course, pumpkins, and they are uh, battery operated, so there's no a cord, like uh, with the vampire bus, there's no cord to worry about, um, and you can really uh, put them wherever you want because there's no, um, there's no AC adapter or anything like that, so, um, of course, there's pros and cons about battery versus an adapter, but we'll get to that. Um, let's go ahead and take a, a look at the details of these guys. Now the uh, pumpkins here, they're kind of playing off of the technique that a lot of people do to carve their pumpkins, um, where they're not actually piercing the entire uh, skin of the pumpkin. They're not going all the way through, and they're kind of just like doing the outer shell. Um, and that's kind of like the effect they're going with here. Uh, and then they, of course, have the faces protruding uh, on the outside of the shell of the pumpkin. Uh, each one is about 10 inches tall. And the pumpkin part is like a hard plastic. And then the faces are uh, latex. And the uh, sensor, I believe, is located on um, the pumpkin on the right-hand side. And we'll go ahead and look at the bottoms of the pumpkins here. And so there's the battery compartments. They run, they each run on two, uh, or excuse me, three AA batteries. The... Uh, the way they get these guys to uh, kind of sync up with each other is if you see this little uh, black button right there and there's another one over there you actually hold those two buttons down together at the same time and then you hear a beep and then you know that they are ready to be um, activated because they are nice and synced up and there is the backs of the pumpkins there uh, I would have appreciated a little more attention to detail on the paint job. I'm pretty surprised Grandin wrote they didn't do so. Um, what you see in the camera right now or on the video is pretty much what you see in person. It's basically just a base color of an orange pumpkin and then they just have like speckled red and orange or yellow paint on top. Um, which I was surprised by the lack of detail um, for the pumpkins. Uh, Grandin Road usually uh, pays a lot of attention to detail in their props, but um, other than that, they look really cool. And um, there's another side view. They are, like I said, they're about 10 inches tall, so they're basically normal, you know, regular pumpkin size. Um, of, of course, you know, pumpkins call it, come in all different sizes. I was kind of hoping they'd be a little bit bigger. Um, just because they are animated props and I would like to have seen these faces on you know larger pumpkins um, but if I and I do plan on kind of like hiding these guys not hiding them but uh, having the, having them displayed amongst other uh, like static uh, jack-o'-lantern or pumpkin props um, and much like the pumpkin witch which is the last prop that I review I believe um, kind of having them be a surprise in the, uh, like in a group of static pumpkins. So, um, 
I'm not going to be able to do the uh, uh, sensors uh, with the camera in my hand, so I'm going to go ahead and stop the video real quick, and um, we will see these guys in action. And there are the interactive animated jack lanterns. Uh, they speak three different, or they have uh, three different little mini conversations. Um, much like a lot of the other interactive props, these would make like a great um, entrance to a haunt, uh, kind of welcoming guests. Um, you know, just they're just fun little. Uh, phrases. This is not by any means a scary prop, um, you know, but I, I thought it's still a really, really uh, clever way that they not only made the prop, um, but also uh, kind of using the whole interactive theme uh, with pumpkins, I thought was very clever. And just another quick look at the details. If you look around the sides of the faces, like where they were carved out, um, see, this is the kind of detail that I expect from Grandin Road, how there's just like a lot of amazing detail around the sides of the, uh, the faces. And you could really see that, you know, it, was, it looks like someone really had carved these faces out. Um, and I think it's going to look really good, like I said, in a sea of a bunch of other static, you know, jack o lantern props or pumpkins. Um, and I'm really happy with the purchase. Um, I got it with a coupon, and I got it for a really good deal. So um, the regular price is uh, 99 bucks. Um, given the size and given um, the amount of phrases, I, I don't think it's worth 99 dollars. Uh, like I said, I got it for a really good price. So um, so again for the Lack of detail on the backs of the pumpkins. Um, the as you could tell, the the speakers are a little muffled. It's kind of hard to listen uh, exactly what they're saying. Um, and uh, just again, the size. I wish they were a little bit bigger. So on a scale of one to ten, I'm going to give the uh, inter interactive jack o' lanterns a seven out of ten. Still really like them. But definitely could be some improvements on on uh, this prop. Uh, but yeah, I really I really do enjoy uh, the purchase, and it's going to definitely go well in the haunted pumpkin patch this year. So uh, once again, these are Grand and Road exclusives. I do believe they are still available. Um, but if you're interested, you know, make sure you pick it up soon because Grand and Road does sell out of their stuff pretty quickly. Um, unfortunately, I'm not too, uh, impressed with much of the Halloween Haven line this year from Grand Road. It was really disappointing. Um, they usually have some amazing props, and so that's why I kind of went for, uh, last, one of last year's props, because this year's were pretty, it's disappointing in my opinion. But, anyway, uh, thank you guys so much for watching. If you like what you're seeing, please like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, happy haunting.